In this video, we are going to discuss about database languages or can also be called as DBMS languages. Database languages are mainly useful in order to perform operations on the database. In order to perform operations on the database, uh, database languages are mainly used. Uh, here we can perform several operations like uh, uh, create operation, uh, next to select operation, uh, insert operation, delete operation, update operation. Likewise, we can perform uh, several operations on the database. So, database languages are mainly useful in order to perform operations on the database like create, select, insert, delete, update, etc. Here in order to perform the operations mainly SQL is used. SQL stands for structured query language. Structured query language. So this language is used in order to perform operations on the database. So user can interact with the database by using the SQL. Mainly we have three types of database languages are there. All the three languages comes under SQL only. So the first one is DDL. DDL stands for data definition language. Second one is DML. DML stands for data manipulation language. Third one is DCL. DCL stands for data control language. So, these three languages comes under SQL only. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about these three languages. So, first let us see about DDL. So, DDL stands for data definition language. So, first one is data definition language. In short, uh, we can call as yes, DDL. It is mainly useful in order to define database schema. So database schema is nothing but in order to provide the logical structure of the database. In order to define the logical structure of the database, this data definition language is used. Now let's see some examples of database definition language. The first one is create command, create command. It is mainly useful in order to create database or database object. So to create database or database object. Here we have various database objects like tables, next indexes, indexes, next views, functions, Stored procedures, stored procedures, stored procedures, triggers. So create command is mainly useful in order to create a database or database object. So database instance or database object means it may be table or indexes or view or functions or stored procedure or trigger. Now let us see the second DDL command that is alter command. Alter command is mainly useful in order to alter the structure of the database. The structure of database or database object. Let us use database object. So in order to alter the structure of the database object, alter command is used. Let us assume that initially a table is created with three fields, with three columns. And after that, we want to add two more columns. So that should be done with the help of the alter command. So we can alter the existing structure. Uh, and the next one is drop command. A drop command. It is useful in order to delete, in order to delete entire table with the structure. So what is the major use of the drop command? Let the table contains 10 records. Then all the 10 records will be deleted along with the structure. So after executing the drop command, 
then there is no table then there is no data base object with that name why because the entire structure will also get deleted okay so here structure means that database object name table name and field name column name and what is the data type we are using and what are the constraints we are enforcing that entire structure will gets deleted okay so this is about drop command next one is truncate command truncate command deletes only rows it delete all the rows from the table let the table contains 10 rows then the 10 rows will gets deleted from the table but the structure will be as it is only so the structure will be as it is only okay so that is the major difference between drop and truncate so if you use this drop command then the entire table will gets deleted along with the structure whereas if we use this uh, uh, truncate command then only the rows will be deleted the structure will be as it is only and the last data definition language command is uh, rename command it is useful in order to rename the database object so if we want to rename the table then we have to use the uh, uh, rename command or if we want to rename the function then we can use the rename command so this is about data definition language so totally we have five commands are there create alter drop truncate and what is the last one rename now let us see the second language second database language that is dml so dml stands for data manipulation language data manipulation language so in short we can call as yes, dml so it is mainly useful in order to manipulate the database in order to perform operations on the database we use just the dml command now let us see the various examples of the dml uh, commands the first one is select command second one is insert command third one is delete command fourth one is update command so first one is select it is useful in order to select some content from the table so we can select entire table select star from table so the entire table will be displayed or we can select a single value or we can select a single row or we can select the multiple rows so select command is useful in order to select data from the table so it may be entire table or multiple rows or single row or single value okay so what is the use of the select command in order to select data from the table or in order to select data from database object database object is nothing but table or view or function or store procedure or trigger now let us see about insert command insert command is useful in order to insert data into the database so it is useful in order to insert data into database object data into database object so here by using in ddl we have create command is there so by using create command only database object will be created but no content will be inserted so if we want to insert any data into the corresponding database object then we have to use the insert command so we can insert single row or we can insert multiple rows parallelly that is our choice second next one is delete command so delete command is useful in order to delete data from the database object here by using delete command we can delete a single row or we can delete multiple rows also so that is the difference between uh, delete and uh, uh, in uh, ddl we have discussed the uh, uh, drop command is there and after that we have truncate command is there truncate command can deletes all the rows from the table whereas delete by using delete command we can delete single row or multiple rows also we can delete all the rows also by using the delete command so by so the major difference between delete and truncate is del, truncate command removes all the rows from the table whereas delete command can deletes single row or multiple rows also and the next one is update command it is useful in order to update the existing data in order to update the existing data okay let the row number is 
name is Ramesh. Let the row number is one. Name is Ramesh. Uh, so here the uh, we can write the update command as if the row number is one, then change the name to Mahesh. If the row number is one, then change the name to Mahesh. Now in place of Ramesh, Mahesh will be updated. Okay. So uh, already we have seen about uh, alter command in DDL. So by using alter command, we can add new column names. We can add new column names or we can alter the <coughs> existing column names. Whereas here, we are changing the content of the table. If the rule number is 1, then change the name to Mahesh. Okay. So this is about data manipulation language, DML command. And the next one is data control language. The last one is data control language. So data control language. Data control language. In short, we can call as yes, DCL. It is mainly useful in order to uh, control the privileges. In order to control the privileges on the database, we use the uh, DCL command. Or in order to provide, in order to control the permissions, permissions or privileges, uh, we use just data control command. Here mainly we have uh, uh, two commands are there. Uh, so the first one is uh, uh, commit. Uh, the first one is grant. First one is grant, whereas the second one is revoke. So grant is useful in order to give user access to the corresponding user so that the user can perform the corresponding operations on the database of database object. So grant for providing the user access, whereas revoke is for revoking the user access in order to withdraw the user access in order to withdraw user access, we use the revoke command. So this is about uh, database languages. This is about uh, database languages in DBMS.